For several decades, the concept of exploring strange new worlds, searching for life in the galaxy, and understanding the origins of the universe seemed like concepts restricted to being plots of sci-fi movies. The recently launched James Webb Telescope by NASA may turn these seemingly impossible tasks into reality very soon. The telescope is expected to make incredible discoveries before the Big Bang, which will change our entire understanding of the universe. In today's video, we will be talking about the James Webb Telescope and what its launch means for the future of space exploration and our understanding of the cosmos. Widely regarded as a successor to the Hubble Space Telescope, the James Webb Space Telescope is an infrared space observatory that launched on December 25, 2021. The telescope took around $10 billion to research and manufacture, making it NASA's largest and most powerful space science equipment. It will be used to probe the cosmos in an attempt to uncover the history of our universe from the Big Bang to alien planet formation and everything in between. It will take the telescope around 30 days to travel nearly a million miles to its permanent home called the Lagrange Point which is a gravitationally stable spot in space. The telescope will then move on to Lagrange Point 2, where it will stay in orbit around the Sun. This orbit will allow the telescope to stay in line with Earth as it orbits the Sun. This has also been a popular spot for several other space telescopes over the years. These include the Herschel Space Telescope and the Planck Space Observatory. NASA states that the new telescope will focus on four main areas. These include looking for the first light in the universe, assembly of galaxies in the early universe, the birth of stars and protoplanetary systems, and planets. The telescope must undergo a series of science and calibration tests, which include sun shield deployment, instrument turn on, telescope deployment, and telescope alignment. The Space Telescope Science Institute speculates that it may take up to six months after deployment for the observatory to start sending back images. If everything goes according to plan, the telescope will allow us to enter a new era of astronomy. The project is a product of an impressive international collaboration between NASA, the European Space Agency, and the Canadian Space Agency. According to NASA, the development of the telescope involved over 300 universities, organizations, and companies from 14 countries. The telescope is expected to stay functional over the next decade. The Hubble Space Telescope has now operated for more than 30 years and is responsible for providing us with amazing views of the universe and many thousands of scientific results. However, the relatively small 2.4 meter diameter mirror of the telescope compared to ground-based telescopes severely limits its capability to observe infrared lights. This means that it is unable to access wavelengths of light from the very earliest stars and galaxies. The James Webb Telescope, however, has been designed to perform this task seamlessly. It may even be able to see stars that were formed from primordial materials from the Big Bang, which may have never been observed before. Discovering when the first stars were formed and understanding how they produced the building blocks of the first galaxies is an important scientific question and one of the primary science goals of the telescope. Scientists have been able to deduce that the elements that are needed for life and modern technology, such as silicone, gold, and carbon, were ultimately created in early stars, but they do not currently have a definitive answer on how this happened. The ability to detect very faint objects in the distant universe has been an important focus for the design and development of the observatory. It has had an impact on its size, wavelength coverage, and the need to keep it very cool in an attempt to minimize undesirable background light. Studying the first stars and galaxies is far from the only scientific task the telescope will perform. It is designed as a general-purpose observatory on which astronomers from around the planet can apply for time to support the research. One example of this is observing in the infrared will allow the telescope to see through clouds of dust that surround young stars which are opaque to visible light. Unlike Hubble, the James Webb will be able to see right into stellar nurseries where stars and their planetary systems are being born. 
These observations will answer age-old questions about how the clouds of dust and gas collapsed to form stars and how planetary systems form around them. This is one of many discoveries that the telescope will make that will change everything we know about the cosmos. When the James Webb Telescope was still being planned more than 20 years ago, no planets were known to scientists other than the ones that exist in our solar system. Since then, astronomers have discovered thousands of planets orbiting other stars in our galaxy. A significant part of the telescope's mission involves the study of the atmospheres of these planets. The wavelength coverage of the telescope is particularly tuned to help in studying molecules in exoplanet atmospheres and the low infrared background from space. This gives it a massive advantage over telescopes based on Earth. The telescope could use two different techniques to accomplish this task. One takes advantage of the fact that planets can pass in front of their parent star, creating a dip in the light that we can observe. By analyzing this light and breaking it down by wavelength with great precision before and during this transit, the telescope can probe the planet's atmosphere to unveil what molecules it consists of. The second technique makes use of a special instrument called a coronagraph to block the light from the parent star to enable direct imaging of the planet and studying its atmosphere or surface. This mission is a particularly exciting one for the telescope because it can help identify any potentially habitable planets in the distant universe. If any suitable planets are found, they could warrant further investigation by one day sending many space probes to take a closer look. The ultimate goal of the mission is to find a planet that is similar to the Earth, but scientists estimate that would require a very lucky combination of circumstances. The James Webb Telescope will also likely study gas giants similar to Jupiter and Saturn, and even ice giants such as Uranus and Neptune. Telescopes can be called real-life time machines for many reasons. For example, if an object is 10,000 light-years away, that means that the light from it takes 10,000 years to reach Earth. So, the further out in space astronomers look, the further back in time we are looking. The James Webb Telescope was specifically designed to detect the faint infrared light from the earliest stars and galaxies. Compared to the Hubble, this new telescope has a field of view that is around 15 times wider. This allows it to collect six times more light, and its sensors are tuned to be most sensitive to infrared light. The strategy will be to stare deeply at one patch of sky for a long time to collect as much light and information from the most distant and oldest galaxies as possible. With this data, it may be possible to answer how the dark ages of the universe ended. The telescope may also help in making several other important discoveries. These include potentially helping explain the nature of dark matter, the mysterious substance that makes up about 80% of the mass of the universe. The dark ages of the universe ended when gravity formed the first stars and galaxies that eventually began to emit the first light. Although astronomers don't know when the first light happened, the best estimate is that it was several hundred million years after the Big Bang. Astronomers also don't know whether stars or galaxies formed first. The telescope presents an incredible opportunity to study this fascinating and important era of the universe, but detecting the first light may prove to be challenging. Compared to the massive bright galaxies of today, the first objects were very small, and due to the constant expansion of the universe, they are likely tens of billions of light years away from Earth. The James Webb Space Telescope represents the best of human technology and our drive to keep looking for answers. It is the most technically difficult mission ever attempted by NASA or any other space agency on the planet. However, once successfully deployed, the telescope will open a window to a time when the universe was in its infancy. It provides a unique opportunity to find out if there are any other habitable planets in the universe and if they are home to intelligent life. It will also help us better understand how it all started and bring us one step closer to confirming how the universe was formed. The discoveries made by the telescope could alter the course of history forever. Thank you for tuning in. If you enjoyed the video, please check out our video on how the James Webb Telescope may detect artificial lights on Proxima b. Do you think the telescope will find other habitable planets in the universe? Please share your thoughts in the comments section below.